Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little different. We're gonna do a quick product review, some fishing rods you've probably never heard of, but are worth your attention. And we're gonna have our usual fishing content uh, later in the video. If you're interested in just the fishing, go ahead and skip to timestamp right here, whatever this is. So, if you're interested in some rods that aren't, you know, Shimano, that aren't Penn, that aren't Daiwa, that aren't whatever, and you're interested in supporting, <coughs> <laughs> Damn it. So if you're interested in some rods based out of the Bay Area and you want to support a local company, go ahead and check out Ray's Fishing Tackle and Chi Fishing. They're all the same company owned by the same guy out of Livermore, California. These rods are awesome and these are uh, representative of his vertical jigging specific equipment. Uh, we have the Chi Apollo jigging rod. We have the Ocean J slower action jigging rod. We have the new Raptor uh, boat jigging rod. Awesome, awesome equipment, awesome, awesome rods. I put them to the test. And uh, if you want to hear my opinion, feel free to sit through the next few minutes and I'll let you know what I think about each rod and uh, where you can get them today. So first we'll start off with the higher end rod. Now in the Ray and Chi fishing lineup, it's actually two companies or two different brands rather. You have Ray Fishing Tackle, which is kind of targeting, you know, the everyday guy that wants something that he can bring on a charter with him and doesn't want to break the bank. And then we have Chi Fishing, which is higher end kind of niche and technique specific uh, type of equipment. This slots in the high end technique specific type of equipment. So this is a light tackle jigging rod, slow pitch, uh, kind of Japanese style. It's got a super thin blank. This is the lightest jigging stick I've ever used. Because of its super thin blank and because it's so light, I mean, you could really just, you know, pitch it all day and, uh, you know, have no risk or arm fatigue uh, by the end of the session. Uh, you will notice that the butt end uh, is super thin. It's got an exposed butt end with a little nub on the end. As far as comfort and feel, I mean, you really feel every little uh, touch as the jig goes down. I've got a Daiwa Alexa 300 Win Edition um, attached to it with 40 pound braid and uh, fishing, you know, I would say shallow to medium water is probably what this is gonna be best suited for. The butt end just a little long for me, but if you're a little taller with longer arms, it would be a perfect, perfect, um, super lightweight option if you don't want the uh, noodliness of a Travala Medium Light and you want something lighter than the Travala Medium Heavy then the Apollo uh, jigging rod is definitely something uh, worth considering, especially you kayak guys. Um, you know, if you're always looking for lighter equipment, something that you could pitch all day, you might want to consider this one. This is the uh, Chi Fishing Apollo slow pitching jigging rod uh, available in the description below. All right, next up we have the Ocean J seven foot three one piece jigging rod. Now this rod is a lot more moderate action than the Apollo and you'll see that it has a healthier bend here. And uh, again, about medium heavy action. This is the one that's closest in feel and kind of performance, um, in my opinion, as the six foot six uh, Shimano Travella um, medium heavy. And I refer to this rod in comparison to all these rods because this is a boat staple in the Bay Area, at least for rock fishing. Um, very, very popular rod, very light rod. And uh, if there's ever a baseline, I think the uh, Shimano Travella six foot six uh, medium heavy is it. This rod has the closest feel uh, of any rod that I've ever felt, um, you know, that's not a uh, Travala. And uh, again, you know, kind of a moderate action, doesn't have the full uh, length, um, but you know, in the EVA foam, uh, saving some weight here. And if you guys prefer to have the full length EVA, but again, you could just, you know, put a piece of foam here um, to, to give you a little more comfort and bonus. If it fell in the water, it would definitely float. Um, I had a little 200 size uh, jigging reel attached to this one. And because of its more moderate action, um, in today's video, because we were fishing so deep with such uh, heavier uh, jigs and lures and stuff, I reserved this one for a, a live bait setup. And actually this one ended up being the best live bait jigging rod of the three that I mentioned today because of its moderate bendy action. I didn't get any hits on it, but you know, as the live bait was squirming around with like an eight ounce sinker on the end of it, uh, you could definitely see it swimming around. You could definitely see the load that um, was being put on the blank. So between the two, it kind of fits in between um, the high performance of the Apollo jigging rod, super light again, and uh, the rod that I'm really excited to talk about 
rod, and that's the Raptor rod uh, from Ray's Fishing Tackle. So this is the Ocean J, again, a little bendy. If you like live bait jigging, want to put this in your rod holder and let the rod do the work, this is definitely the rod to consider. And last up, we have the Ray Raptor. Now this is the second version of the Raptor at the time of this vid. I don't, I'm not sure if this uh, version is on the website yet or for sale, but look out for it. This rod is awesome. For I think $100 is uh, what the owner said that this one was gonna go for. Man, this is a great charter rod. So this rod's kind of a do-it-all, um, just everything utility, vertical jigging, and maybe even trolling rod. It's got a pretty moderate tip, but a lot of backbone. Um, pretty similar to a Travala medium heavy. If you ever wanted your medium heavy Travala 6.6 uh, to grow another foot, this rod would be the rod of your dreams. It feels very similar to it, maybe a touch heavier, but man, it's pretty beefy for as thin as the blank is, and it's seven foot nine. So if you wanted that extra uh, length in your uh, medium heavy 6.6 Travala, this rod would be it. This is the rod that was in my hand most of the day, fishing 80 feet to 280 feet, and uh, it just felt super comfortable. And for the price, man, you know, it's it's hard to say that there's a rod out there that can beat it. Uh, it is, um, you know, from the Ray line, so, you know, the kind of introductory kind of everyman's uh, lineup, but I could see this rod, you know, being sold for way more than what uh, Ray Fishing actually sells it for. So um, if there's any rod here to actually promote and put my stamp on it, I would definitely take a look at the Ray Raptor rod, kind of an everyman's rod and then some. I mean, it felt really good in hand. Uh, I would love to try it out for halibut and bigger game in the future. And uh, I think if there's a rod to walk away from this video with, it would be the Ray Raptor rod, just quality rod. And it has the EVA foam, um, you know, foregrip, a nice big foregrip here, bigger than the other two, and uh, the long EVA foam at the butt end. Uh, so you can have that comfort all day jigging, sticking it in a rod holder and uh, trolling with it too. Cause I think it has the action that would uh, support a long day uh, trolling. So again, the Ray Raptor rod, pretty awesome. Look at that, three to 16 ounce range, can handle a lot of weight and can handle the small stuff too. I think I have a date with this rod and the other two in the near future, all quality gear. Hope to produce some quality content, but if you're interested in seeing these rods in action today, stay tuned. Dude, sack of fish, I wonder how that happened. And Ray hooked up with a Ray rod. Well, what are the what are what are the chances that the winner of this of this tourney is named Ray, and he gets some gear sponsored by a company called Ray? So we got the Ray, I think it's called the Ray Monster 200 in there. Nice jigging reel. There we go. Nice buff. Got the Ray hat. Ooh, look at that. Paired up with a Ray Raptor rod. All this stuff available on RayFishingTackle.com, I believe. So thanks to Ming for hooking us up with this badass jigging rod gift from him and Ish to Ray. Awesome. Dude, Thank you very it was much. awesome. Do you want to see how he caught all these fish? Do you want to see who won? You have to check out the video. Are, how, many, how many people are in the, the pot here? Are you too, Miguel? Yeah, I'll be Are you fishing? Yeah. Oh my god, 600 bucks? 600 Holy sh... Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is a... Uh, it's beyond me. All right, what is up, guys? Do you remember that fundraiser thing that I put together a few months ago? We're finally capitalizing on it, and we're out here with Miguel, native anglers. This is his new boat. It's like all fancy and big and lots of room. Lots of room, important because this is the uh, fundraiser that was, you know, uh, put together to help out some um, teachers because of the pandemic and everything. And uh, your contributions definitely put some groceries on the table. I know that for a fact and kept people, uh, you know, going while things uh, were, were kind of shutting down. So we're out here. We're with uh, Ray, our winner. He's getting set up over here. We've got Adam, aka Die Hard Fishing. You know him. We've got Matt's official. Is it Fisherman's Life or official Fisherman's Life? Official on Instagram, Fisherman's on YouTube. Yeah, follow him. He needs the subs. <laughs> we got on. we got Miguel, and uh, we've got uh, my biggest fan right here. I forgot his name already. <laughs> he doesn't need any more subs. No, that's Taku. You guys all know him. So, the big thing that we're all doing today, uh, you know, we're trying to do this in the spirit of um, you know supporting the community and uh, treating one of our lucky subs uh, to a day out on the water. But of course, you know, being a being a fisherman, everything gets competitive really quickly. So we have a huge, huge pot, $100 buy-in, 
heaviest fish today wins. That's $600 for those of you that can't do math. And uh, we'll see who can catch and walk away with the cashola. You know, the last time we did this, the sub actually won, didn't he? Patrick? Yeah, so, so Ray, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Fish on. Oh, what is that? Caught you? Yeah. Adam, can you uh, keep it quiet back there? I'm trying to uh, film a video. Woo! I see your bocaccio and I raise you a. What is that? Olive? Big ass olive. <laughs> Another olive. Last time it seemed like there was quite a million. Woo! For the pictures I've seen you guys. Bang bang. Another big one. Keep filming. Oh, that's a that's a chunky. Damn, that's a chunky. Hey Taco, we fit we started fishing ten minutes ago. If you want if you wanna if you wanna keep up. <laughs> oh what was that website again? www.skunk.com <laughs> I knew we should have brought June instead. Crappy fisherman use my bait. Yeah, hit hit the bottom and crank up like three times and just pop it, man. They're like stacked right there. This is gonna be another big ass olive. This might be a this might be a six hundred dollar olive actually. Woohoo! Oh, this could be it right here. <laughs> this might be my PB right there. Right there. That's gotta be like, that's gotta be like five, six pounds. Dude, this this jig right here. Um, hey, don't hit my big fish with your little fish, all right? You're taking off ounces. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that guy. <clears throat> oh, I think. Damn, this one is huge too. That one's bigger. Oh, that's my new PB. Woo. Look at the big boy. It's gotta be seven, eight pounds right there. How many tacos is that? Yeah, this is a Williamson Speed Jig. This one, this one does some damage too. I know I need a blue, little blue rockfish in my life, or a little starry. Oh, it raised out of the pot. <laughs> it raised out of the pot. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't read the fine print. <laughs> oh, nice. Dang, that's a good verm. Oh, hey, maybe we're over the verms right now. Yeah. I hope I got one. Oh, shoot. Nice verm, though. Yeah. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yours. <laughs> <laughs> and that was pretty much our day. Nothing but back to back huge rockfish. Sometimes PB olives, sometimes big verms, and occasionally a big ling. Now, spoiler alert, I didn't win. So you're going to have to check out Adam's, Taku's, or Matt's version of the day to figure out who did. Big thanks to everyone who donated. Big thanks to Ray for being great company on the water. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Wait, wait, wait. Re-ask that question, Adam. Let's put him on the spot. You ask him. I don't want to Ray, if we all drop this video on the same day, who are you going to watch? All right, we're, we're going to delete that part from the video. And we're going to delete uh, you from my Instagram account and we'll never talk again.